Hello and welcome to That's The Point. This is the one show dedicated to construction positioning technology. My name is Corey Meyer, flying solo on the set today. And today we are gonna talk kind of about the namesake of That's The Point. Today we are talking specifically about points and how to get them into FieldLink using a CSV file. Now, for those of you that don't know, CSV is kind of a, a industry standard. It's a very simple format that we can use to get points in and around different applications. So maybe you got some control points uh, from, your, from your surveying crew. Uh, maybe you, you wanted to bring them in from another application. CSV is the most common way to do that. Um, and so we're gonna talk about the best method to bring that into FieldLink so that you can begin laying out to them um, and you can have them displayed right here in FieldLink. So first of all, really real quick, what is a comma separated file? What is a CSV file? Well, it's quite simply, it's just a comma separated file that has a lot of data. And uh, if we jump in here to the computer, we can actually open up a CSV in any like simple notepad or Word. Um, and if we open it up here, you could see real quickly um, that it's just several different columns um, that are containing information. It's pre-structured, um, so you have your, you first have your column head and then you have all the information below that. Now. To be honest, this looks pretty rough. Like this is pretty hard to understand when you just look at a CSV file, especially if you had 500 points or whatever. Um, so that's why if you open it up inside of Excel or a spreadsheet application of your choice, um, you'll most likely get a much more sensical looking document. So we zoomed in here, we opened up uh, that very same CSV file that we had in Notepad. We just opened it up right here in Excel. You can see it begins to make a lot more sense, right? We've got a column head across the top, um, and this is how we know all of the different points that we have below it. So we have BC3, BC4, and this is all the information that FieldLink needs um, to be able to put those points into your layout file. Now, it should be mentioned um, that if you need this CSV format, if you wanted to say, start your own CSV file to upload and import, we actually have in the link right down below, um, we have a template CSV file that has these columns already named out. So you can just drop them into Excel or your favorite spreadsheet app. Um, and you can then begin to add the points manually if you would like, um, but also if you export out of uh, FieldLink, you can also get this pretty much the same template file um, right there. But it does have to conform to this format. Um, everything needs a name. Um, everything needs an X, Y, and Z, which would make sense, so it knows where to put the points. Um, you do need a description, um, or you don't have to have a description. And a layer, as we get into FieldLink, that's kind of a if necessary thing, um, but you do wanna have at least something in this file. So it, put it to zero and make sure you don't have any just empty fields. So if you don't have a field, putting in zero is an okay way to do that as well to make sure that you get uh, a good import. So that's a CSV. Um, so now we're actually gonna take this very same file and we're gonna go to FieldLink and we're gonna then import that into our project. So I'm gonna jump over. Um, I'm gonna open up FieldLink Office um, here on my laptop. And I just opened up to a, a, brand, a brand new blank installation. Um, so we don't have any jobs. So I'm just gonna click create. And we're just gonna create a new project. And we'll say this, we'll just call this test CSV. And we're gonna create that job. And we could see right now that we don't have any points included, which would kind of make sense because we, we haven't imported anything, brand new job. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna mouse over um, to the plus sign and we're gonna add a layout job. We're gonna hit okay. Now we've got a layout job. And now we wanna attach some points to that project. So all we have to do from here is we're just gonna to go to more. It's gonna ask us if we wanna open the current project. We'll say yes. And then it's gonna open up what is effectively still a blank file. So we're gonna to go to more and we're gonna to go to projects. And now we want to import and we're gonna come right over here to our thumb drive. There it is, building corner export. That's the file we were just looking at. And we're gonna click select. Now it's gonna bring us up to the dialog for importing. And now we do have some options here to talk about. Um, the first thing is to decide what points you want to add or import, right? So we could do all points, we can do it by name and then we could filter. We could do it by description and then filter. So if you don't wanna bring in all your points at once, you can do that. Um, and then you could also say include layers from CFC if you have layers included, which we do. So we'll just check that and you can see it grays out then the layer box. Um, but if we didn't want to import the layers from the CSV file, we can also dictate where those points go just by typing in the layer here in this dialog. So I'm going to leave that selected. We're going to take those layers in and we're just going to click import. And it's going to say nine points imported. We're going to come back. 
and we'll go to the map, and there they are. As you can see, if we switch back over to Excel, you would see that these are the exact same points that we originally had. Now, one of the nice features about this is FieldLink has been built to be able to work with your project over time as it changes. So once you bring in a set of points into FieldLink, um, you can easily import more, and it's gonna also keep track of the ones you've already imported. So let me show you. So if we go to more, and we're gonna go to projects, we're gonna import, we're gonna use the exact same file. We haven't changed a thing, right? But if we're gonna, and we'll say we'll import the CSV again, we'll click select, and we're just gonna say bring in all points. It's gonna say import, and now we see this dialog, and this is, this is a real lifesaver sometimes. So it says that the file exists locally. It already knows it's imported these files. And so it's asking us what we wanna do with this. We can either overwrite the files, the points with the new ones that we're bringing in, we can copy or we can cancel. And this is where you wanna note that if you click overwrite and you've already laid out and you have that layout, you know, you, your, your point is green because it's been laid out to, you wanna be careful clicking over it because it does erase that layout. So it won't be in your daily summary and all that stuff. So you wanna make sure that if you click over right, that you know what you're doing. Um, but you can also then have the chance to just import the new files, which does make it simpler as time as that CSV file might grow. And that's it. That's really all that you need to know to get started with importing your CSV files right here into FieldLink. Of course, if you have any questions or concerns, reach out, we're happy to help and lend a hand. Um, because it is such an important part of the workflow to understand and to efficiently utilize that CSV functionality. So as always, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Make sure you can stay up to date with the latest tips, tricks, and pointers. And as always, thanks for watching us here on That's the Point.